Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 27th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at our sun the last two days, we had that large plasma prominence swirling around the surface of the sun, northeast region. And as well, we've got some activity turning into view and one M-class solar flare to report the last two days. A couple strong C-class solar flares, but not Earth-facing. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, a couple plasma ropes, and as well, newly formed sunspot regions turning into view. Sunspot grouping will be something to watch as it comes for the Earth-facing party. Earth-facing party right now is all about those coronal hole solar winds. Looking at the last two days, outgoing, a couple plasma shots. But no CMEs, Earth-directed. Looking at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 40 hour, 48 hours of events and as well the magnetic field of our sun during this big coronal hole event, which increased our solar wind speeds up and over 800 kilometers per second, and that's well over 1.5 1.7 million miles per hour. Amazing times to be alive to be able to witness and share all of these images with you. 171 angstroms. All brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed here with daily events worldwide. Amazing sun. God, I love this stuff. And thank you all for watching. Taking time out of your day to be aware and prepared. Having a look at that fast-forming sunspot region turning into view. Right now, we have five Earth-facing sunspots, one of them turning away. But big grouping here is definitely something to watch over the next few days. Current space weather conditions, there, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected, and as well, a level one geomagnetic storm impacts from the most recent coronal wind stream. Solar winds right now are at 757 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing minor M-class solar flare yesterday, but we've seen a couple strong C-class solar flares just since I started making this video tonight. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity was at a KP6, starting to calm down now, as I think we topped out at 841 kilometers per second. This is showing the last three hours of solar winds penetrating our planet. Magnetosphere seems to be hanging on, but our planet is still under a lot of pressure, and it is evident with all of the earthquake activity that we've seen. Space Weather Prediction Center here showing the space weather spiral. Little green circle on these diagrams is Earth, and the center yellow, of course, is our sun. Bottom diagram showing the velocity, our solar wind speeds. As there, we are in the thick of it. Accelerated solar wind stream from a coronal hole, which was very massive. Probably one of the largest, well, definitely the largest that I've reported in the past eight years. Having a look here at Alaska Coronagraph 2 and 3, as all of their imagery is kind of sewn together way too fast and missing some data. But... Most recent CMEs were not Earth-directed. Tonight's Aurora View line and tomorrow. More prevalent tonight, but across mostly Canada. Looking at earthquakes past 24 hours, as you can see, a lot of deep earthquakes. Our planet kind of looks like a pincushion right now. All the elevated rings showing the depths. We're going to start here in Fiji, 386 kilometer depth there. Papua New Guinea, 445. Northern Indonesia, Gorontolo, 552. That's the deepest past 24 hours. Banda sees a hot spot, and it's been way too quiet. Philippines plate northward to Russia. Alaska has all of a sudden gone quiet. Minor seismicity has ceased. And I think that's due to all of the activity at Kilauea. Minor seismicity continuing, but a very large eruption. As posted here with daily events worldwide, the 15th since before Christmas. Caribbean Plate is a hot spot as well. 160 kilometer depth, Dominica. 
Going to be watching the Caribbean plate over the next little bit into the Cocos because it's been way too quiet as of late. And you'll see in the last seven days how prevalent it is. Largest earthquake past 24 hours, 5.7 South Sandwich Islands, north of the Michael Volcano. And activity coming back to Greece at the Santorini Volcano and Colombo. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Going to give you a quick browse of the last seven days for shakers and movers. As our pressure release valve in the Pacific Ocean is spewing lava 800 feet tall. Amazing images coming out of Kilauea. Check out the USGS live stream. Largest earthquake the last seven days, 6.7 New Zealand. Earthquakes are piling up in Alaska. And it's way too quiet. Central America and southward. And as well, in between Washington and Alaska. Heads up, you live in an earthquake prone zone. Just be aware, have a plan and be ready. Having a look now at the SO2 forecast brought to you by our active erupting volcanoes. Big plumes and as well. Paley's hair being reported over the big island of Hawaii. Big eruption. Congo region, most likely near Mirigongo volcano. And as well, big plumes still swirling around equatorial region south of Indonesia from Luatolo. Overlooking South America and Europe. No new erupt eruptions from Mount Etna to report. Now let's get to weather as there's a massive low pressure system East Pacific Ocean right now. Having a look here at satellite imagery as it is spiraling into the coastline of California, spawning multiple tornado warnings throughout the day. Watch for this system to break up and cause havoc straight across the border with Canada and the United States. Watch for a big ice storm this weekend and extreme weather to be a daily thing over the next week or so for the United States. First week of April looks very active. Strong systems brewing through the Central Europe and as well through the Gulf states in the long range. And there's still a lot of snow, folks. Low pressure systems still coming from the north and high pressure polar air is still fueling down across North America. Spring is not quite here yet. I mean, it is technically, but the weather's not saying. Overlooking Africa, Australia, and Southeast Asia, some strong systems affecting the Australian continent. And as well, watch for possible flash flooding and as well, wildfires, because it will be a electrifying event for parts of Southeastern Australia. Long-range forecast, no major cyclones or typhoons forecasted. Leave it here overlooking the North Pacific Ocean. As that strong low is penetrating the coastline now. Bringing copious amounts of moisture. And a strong low-pressure system is quickly coming in behind that. And that should help and start to warm things up for the long range, but... Polar air still dominating most of North America in this forecast. Stay tuned as these forecasts can change. With daily events worldwide, you are aware and prepared. And thank you so much for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily dupe.